Hello, my name is Jim Kay and I'm the illustrator of the Harry Potter series. The third volume of Harry Potter, The Prisoner of Azkaban, is out now. No great children's book is complete without something scary in it and there's nothing more frightening than Dementors. They are a, a surreal, slightly ethereal manifestation of something dark and terrible and they float through the books which is a lovely thing to do. When you have something that's literally weightless traveling through the books it gives the books a, a lovely sense of rhythm and energy. So I've had great fun working on Dementors um, because they flow almost like paint. Uh, you, can, you can use a brush loaded with ink and almost in a few strokes create the movement of, of a Dementor. But their, um, their faces are tricky because there's actually not much to them. They're almost a blank canvas and the only really defining feature is this cavernous open mouth, uh, like a hole through which people's souls are sucked. So I'm hoping that through, as the books progress, I can sort of make them more and more malevolent, more and more sinister. There are many wonderful and weird animals in uh, the world of Harry Potter, and hippogriffs are no exception. Showing a hippogriff, uh, which is a large animal, on a giant's bed uh, poses a problem because you see, if you look at it, you think, well, it's a large animal, and if it was on a normal bed, it would overhang it. But if you put a large animal on Hagrid's bed, which is sort of a giant bed, then it looks like a small animal on a normal person's bed. So I have all these sort of problems of scale. So I think I put a chicken in the picture just to show that it was a big hippogriff on a giant bed. Uh, so the, you need a scale reference sometimes. We have some wonderful characters in Harry Potter. Um, one of my favourites is Severus Snape who's a, an interesting, tricky character uh, who becomes more involved and perhaps harder to read as the book progresses, really. Um, so in this particular volume, Prisoner of Azkaban, I did a portrait of Severus. So in the painting are several objects which, re which relate to Severus's character. Uh, you can see a slug, a black slug, which is a, a little nod to the slug club of which he was a member. Um, also, there's a, a mole captured inside a, a glass jar and this is really my way of saying well he was a mole effectively a spy working for both sides uh, and he was dungeoned by this position he was sort of uh, trapped by it which is very sad ultimately uh, and on his left hand side you can see uh, a lily of the valley plant and of course Harry's mother Lily was really the the true love of, of Severus's life um, so that's again my little way of of trying to fill out his character in visual form.